so I put up a post the other day about doing some more videos and things like that on topics that people would be interested in learning a little bit more about. One of the comments that came in was a question around how do we teach children and young people, um, I guess about their emotions, um, how to identify them, how do they express them, and then I suppose help them with that emotional regulation bit. So I thought it would be helpful to talk about first of all just how do we, I suppose, help children understand their different emotions. And for young children that I work with, often one of the early kind of homework exercises that we do is I actually ask them to watch the film Inside Out. So if you've seen it, you'll be familiar with it. But if you haven't, it talks about a young girl, Riley, and it goes inside her head and helps um, look at what we call the primary emotions when we're for children in particular. So joy, anger, disgust, fear and sadness. And the film talks about how at different times these different um, emotions kind of take over her brain. And it's really um, a helpful way of starting off conversations with children and young people. So often I'll do things like, you know, print off the characters, we might colour them in, we might talk about, you know, how did Riley know that she was sad? How did Riley know that she was angry? And then go back and say, well, what was it that made her angry? And how did she respond to that? And then relating that to themselves. Are there ever times when you're angry? What would your angry character look like? So it's a really great film for starting off some of those conversations. So that's a starting point. Another kind of thing which sometimes we can use is, I guess, actually labeling um, emotions for children when they're not able to do it themselves. So we start off with, you know, saying things like, I can see that you're angry or I can see that you're scared. And then the, the following on, on that conversation with, well, can you tell me what it is that's making you scared? Um, we tend not to see that children organically use the word I'm anxious. Um, a little bit more so now than before because there's so much mental health education starting in schools which is great but often children will use the words like I'm worried, I'm scared um, so that's why the fear um, for example in the Inside Out film is, is great because it helps them um, identify and label with that emotion. So those are the kind of things that we would be trying to do to help children um, start off that conversation around their emotions. And then it's working back the ways from helping them say, you know, right, okay, well, you were angry. Can you tell me what that's about? And often that conversation doesn't take place when the child is angry because they're not in a place to do that. No more so than we would be if somebody was trying to explain something to us and we were quite distressed. So after a period of time has passed where maybe a child has, you know, had a tantrum or been frustrated about something, then we would sit down and have a conversation. You were angry. How did we know that you were angry? You were screaming. You were throwing your toys around. Um, you were storming off. Can you tell me what made you angry? And then helping them with, well, let's think about what we could do. So did they talk to you before they had the big tantrum? Did they explain what was going on? So helping them then develop techniques that might help them in those situations. Now, they're not always going to work. Sometimes there's going to be a tantrum and that's okay. That's part of being young. But I guess it's starting to have some of those conversations with them around, um, yeah, emotions and just labeling them for them. And another really um, powerful, I guess, thing, but not always easy, is how we model emotions to children and young people. So often parents think it's better to kind of shy away from how they feel. So we should just always show that we're happy. But actually, that's not possible. And children are very intuitive. They pick up on different emotions. And one of the most helpful things you can do is actually label it. So if you yourself are angry, being able to say, I'm angry. It's not with you. I'm angry about something and I'm gonna need some time and then they'll learn from modeling how you learn to manage that anger. So they'll see that with time it passes or that you maybe need to go for a walk and come back. So you need a bit of a time out and then come back. And we're modeling to children and young people then that these emotions are normal and more importantly, how we manage them as well.